Um, will the men who don't trust their friends please tap in? Because I did have a guy say to me one time, specifically, I was wearing this dress. It's a sundress, right? I remember he said to me, yeah, I'm about to go kick it with some of my friends. And I was like, okay, cool. Um, do you want me to come or whatever? He said no. Or no, he said wearing that? No. Oh, and I just thought to myself, but why, though? But why? Um, will the men who don't trust their sundress accentuates movement i know you ain't had no drawers up under that sundress or you had a thong under that sundress so them cheeks was there was no restrictions with the movement of them cheeks why would i want to put myself and my friends in that situation could you imagine me chilling with my peoples and you have to get up and do something and their eyes do some shit like this Cause that's what happens bro. Niggas look. Niggas are going to look. It's an instinct thing. When Cheeks is in the vicinity, it's in our instinct to look. I wouldn't put my friends in a situation where they have to go against their natural instinct. And definitely, I wouldn't put myself in a situation where I feel as though my peoples are disrespecting me. To be quite honest with you, y'all know what sundresses do. You know what sundresses do. They have a whole theme. Sundress season. We know what happens during sundress season. <laughs> This all cute and all, but let's go ahead and tackle the elephant in the room. Some of y'all women don't got no game. Y'all not used to going up to men and talking to them, and when y'all go up to talk, y'all start freezing up. Is the truth? Tell me I'm wrong. This is what y'all be doing. Y'all will go up to a dude, right? Start a conversation, but expect him to carry the conversation the rest of the way. Now, if he does what y'all be doing when dudes come up to talk to y'all and just sit there all blank, when the ball's in your court, you give up and you go back and tell your friends, oh, girl, he, he corny. He whack. He whack. Why? Because you don't know how to speak. Tell me I'm wrong. So here's a quick little trick. Pull up the comforter. Get your hot iron. It doesn't take much time. But the heat will bring all of these bed bugs to the surface of the mattress if they actually are there. Now I've got this iron on hot. And you know, they like to live around the corners of the mattress itself. That should do it. Looks nice and clean and neat, right? I'm going mattress cover now. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Oh, oh my nah. stars! Oh my gosh! <gasps> Here's how to tell if the hotel glasses are clean. If it doesn't stick, it's clean. That makes sense. If it sticks, it's dirty. At some point in time, me and my wife had this thing where we used to go to different hotels for special occasions. That's why we end up getting time sharing. And I tell you, never get time sharing. I'm not promoting no f time sharing because we trying to get up out that shit now. There was one time we stayed at a hotel. We was, we was coming from my country. We was coming from Grenada and we had to spend a night in Miami. You know, we had a layover or whatever. So we had to spend a night at this hotel. And I woke up the next morning and I was itching. I was itching, okay? The Bahama Mama? Yeah. It's pretty straight, too. I got your flat bread. bread Man, in the I know you lying, bro. I ain't had one. I just want to. That's pretty straight. Hope you drink. Bro, hell, I'm not taking that shit. <laughs> I'm just joking, bro. No. <laughs> it's mine. Hold it real quick. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. It's yours right here, bro. <laughs> 
That's that's messed up, bro. You got the fry guys, right? Yes, sir. You see, we got a new policy. I'm supposed to make sure the fries has not been tampered with or poisoned or anything. You got it. <laughs> 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 I fuck with it. Go ahead. Natasha, yes. how you doing? These are your drinks right here. You got chicken nuggets in. Probably not that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she was gonna take it. No, I'm playing those of mine. I got your food right here. Okay. <laughs> you was gonna take the nuggets I'm eating? No. <laughs> you know, I like you. Deserve a Tasha had a long day. She didn't care. <laughs> Tasha didn't care. Yo, that's crazy. I mean, shout out to the people that he actually did that too, though, because you do that to the wrong person <laughs> on the wrong day, you might have made the news. Excuse me. I got a challenge for you, ready? Right? If I can beat you in rock, paper, scissors, you gotta give me your phone number. I'm Tristan, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Why are you so suspicious? I'm curious. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a funny way to put it. Okay, what are you... I'm intrigued. Okay. Treading with caution. Treading with caution? Like, ooh, this is tall, handsome black guy coming challenging me to be in rock, paper, scissors. Ah, well, I mean, you better... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tristan, Tristan, Tristan. First off, Tristan, the opener was crazy. The opening line was crazy. If I beat you in rock, paper, scissors, you gotta give me your number. Simple, to the point, very creative. Then he let her know who's this tall, handsome, black guy talking to you. Confidence. Confidence is key, gentlemen. Win the game rock, paper, scissors, then, so you can get back to it, huh? So if I win... What do you want? That makes sense. I mean, does a woman ever know what she wants? <laughs> no. I'll buy you a coffee. How about that? If you win. Okay, Joe. Okay. It's a win-win. It's a win-win situation. Rock, paper, scissors. All right. One time. All right. Rock. <laughs> I thought I was gonna win. <laughs> I thought you were too. But big pop, big pop, razor shorty in front of me. As you lose. The look on my face. Oh, goodness gracious. Damn. Plot twist. <laughs> You're not dark enough, Tristan. How many of you guys been in a situation like that? You started talking to a chick and it, it felt as though she was feeling your mans more? What you doing in that situation? Because me, I've been in that situation before and I gradually take a step back. There is no seed blocking in my blood. If I get it, it's cool. If my mans get it, it's cool. Me introducing myself and bringing her in the, in the circle, that counts as an assist. All right, now it's a lot of y'all boys out here that would have been butthurt. You'd have been upset. Yo, bro, you see me talking to her? Damn, bro. Nah. She, she feeling her more? Hey, man. You still on the stat sheet. You got an assist. Move on to the next play. I know it's about 25,000 of you guys that watch these videos that still haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Come on now, we almost at 100K, man. We almost at 100K. And follow me on the gram. Follow me on Instagram. Oh, look at the fupa. Look at this fupa. Can you not mind it? This is what you get. This is what you get. Oh, you got the fupa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I ain't gonna use no bullshit. I'm just saying. I know that. I know I don't got no words. I don't even think I can put this whole thing on YouTube. Um, 
Y'all see I be leaving these people Instagram. So if y'all want to see the video in its entirety, go ahead and go to her Instagram. Just just know, man. It, it was... <laughs> that, that thing looked like it melt off the bone. 